Hello everyone, this, I am your host for WWE 2K19 and this is Monday Night Raw. Coming right off the heels of an eventful SummerSlam. We have the repercussions tonight. There is a new WWE Universal Champion and it is not who you would, would expect. And here he comes, the new WWE Universal Champion, cashing in last night on Finn Balor after Finn Balor had finally defeated John Cena for the championship. Before Finn Balor even had an opportunity to get his belt and celebrate. The new WWE Universal Champion is here to address the audience tonight. The arrogance of this new champion disrespectful towards his opponents. What a blatant display of arrogance from the new WWE Universal Champion. Business is about to pick up. Combined weight of 608 pounds, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, the NWO. Of course, the NWO was unable to achieve victory last night at SummerSlam in the six man tag match against the Shield. But here they are now on Raw to answer the words of the new WWE Universal Champion. And here come the former WWE Raw Tag Team Champions. They lost their championships last night at SummerSlam when Bray Wyatt pinned The Undertaker. Now they're here tonight in a number one contenders match against the Brothers of Destruction to determine who will face the Wyatt family at Hell in a Cell for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships.
former WWE Raw Tag Team Champion making a good point here tonight on Raw. McIntyre technically never lost last night as they were not the ones pinned to lose the championships. And their opponent at a combined weight of 622 pounds, The Undertaker and King, the brother of destruction. Dolph Ziggler with some true words earlier, talking about how, why does Ziggler and McIntyre have to fight for a number one contender spot against the men who lost the match last night in the triple threat match. Ziggler and McIntyre were the champions going into that match and they were never pinned. They were never submitted. It was Undertaker who was pinned by Bray Wyatt to lose the match and crown the Wyatt family as the new Raw Tag Team Champions. But it's the former champions tonight who have to face against Undertaker and Kane for the right to rematch against the Wyatt family. The bell is rung and this match is underway. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. The first Raw after an eventful SummerSlam that saw us crown new Raw Tag Team Champions on the pre-show. Saw us crown a new WWE Universal Champion after Roman Reigns cashed in on Finn Balor, who defeated John Cena in their one-on-one -on -one championship match. Of course, we also saw The Rock defeat Triple H. Ronda Rousey on the pre-show retained her WWE Raw Women's Championship after getting herself disqualified against Sasha Banks. And of course, The Shield defeated NWO and Sting after Roman Reigns hit Scott Hall. Drew McIntyre with a hard Irish whip on Undertaker. Gets out. Drew McIntyre fighting back against the dead man. The former tag team champion with a good showing against the Brothers of Destruction. Undertaker with the flying lariat knocks Drew McIntyre down. He can get to the corner tag in Kane. Here comes the big red machine. Ziggler off the edge. And Kane is feeling it here. Okay, 
Ain't going top rope. What's he looking for? With the flying clothesline off the top. Kane's looking for it. Can he hit it? No, McIntyre fights out of the choke slam. with the tag on Ziggler. Kane tossing Ziggler to the mat. Kane with the tag. Double team to Ziggler. Undertaker close by Ziggler all the way out of the ring. Heating up. Ziggler goes up, comes down, choke slam. Undertaker's looking to finish this off. He sets Ziggler up. Tombstone pile driver. One. McIntyre breaks up the count but also takes out the referee at the same time. Undertaker using that baseball bat with the referee out. What's McIntyre doing? He suplexes Undertaker to the outside of the ring. Can he finish Ziggler off?
No, Ziggler counters out of it. Ziggler with a disrespectful pin of his own. Undertaker kicks out. And now Ziggler looking to set up the dead man. Undertaker with a reversal of his own. And Ziggler's going for the ride. Choke slam. Take advantage of the distraction by McIntyre. And the Undertaker's been busted open as he struggles to get to his feet here. McIntyre, you might be better staying down. Down goes McIntyre. Undertaker goes for the pin. One, two, we have new number one contenders. Undertaker and Kane are going to hell in a cell. Ziggler was able to capitalize on the distraction by McIntyre, but McIntyre got in and was unable to capitalize. Undertaker punishing Drew McIntyre, finishing him with a choke slam. And the Brothers of Destruction are the number one contenders to face the Wyatt family at Hell in a Cell for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships. Busted open, dead and man standing Kane, victorious. The brother of destruction. Of course, last night at SummerSlam during the pre-show, we saw a brand new million dollar champion crown as Kevin Owens defeated East Slater. Ted DiBiase is very happy to see the million dollar belt off of Heath Slater. And Ted DiBiase wants to announce the new champion, Kevin Owens. Ted DiBiase is out here to announce that Kevin Owens wants his first match as champion to be against a very specific opponent. And that is Bret Hart, the man who beat Ted DiBiase to take the title off him in the first place.
Ted DiBiase out here speaking for Kevin Owens. Do we have a new million dollar team on our hands? Kevin Owens is the new Million Dollar Champion. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Sami Zayn and the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the Million Dollar Champion, Kevin Kevin Owens defeated Heath Slater on the SummerSlam kickoff show to win the Million Dollar Championship. And through the mouthpiece Ted DiBiase, Kevin Owens has issued a challenge to the one man that he wants to face in his first ma match as champion, and that is Bret Hart. Of course, Bret Hart was the one who defeated Ted DiBiase to take the Million Dollar Championship in the first place before vacating it and allowing Rhino and Heath Slater to fight for it. Which Heath Slater won and, and went on a run as the Million Dollar Calgary, Champion and telling Brian to Canada, Kevin Owens. Weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. Kevin Owens is still upset about Bret Hart submitting him to the sharpshooter just weeks ago in that tag team match when Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn made their raw return against Bret Hart and The Rock. It was Bret Hart that tapped out Kevin Owens to the sharpshooter in their return match and Kevin Owens obviously has not forgotten that. So tonight on Raw, it will be Kevin Owens. It will be the Hitman one-on-one. -on -one. The referee rings the bell, and we are off. Bret Hart with the first strike on Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens back to his feet. Bret Hart with the reversal. Reverse DDT to the champion. Bret Hart working away on the champion with some stomps. Well, Ted DiBiase and Sami Zayn watch from outside. Irish whip into the corner and a drop kick sends the champion to the ground. Kevin Owens with a reversal. Looking to capitalize and take advantage. Clothesline knocks down Kevin Owens. Into the corner. Kevin Owens saw the drop kick coming in time. And a roll away power bomb. into the canvas, going for an early pin. Bret Hart with a quick kick out. The elbow knocks the Hitman back down. Kevin Owens looking strong against Hitman, slamming his head once again. The stomps, the slams. Kevin Owens definitely taking out his aggressions on Bret Hart. And 
Hart with the counter. Kevin Owens wants to accomplish something that he feels Bret Hart hasn't, and that's to defend this million dollar championship. Irish whip off the ropes. After bumping into each other, Kevin Owens is able to take advantage again. Goes for the pin again. Bret Hart kicks out quickly one more time. Bret Hart going for the powered pile driver. Kevin Owens counters, knocks Bret Hart into the corner, lifts him up onto the top rope. Kevin Owens going for the high impact move. He's got Bret Hart on his shoulders. And he hits it. Kevin Owens setting up the hitman. No, 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 Bret Hart counters. goes Kevin Owens. One more time with the pin. Still not enough. Bret Hart gets the shoulder up. Sami Zayn and Owens counter the hitman. He's countered out, cornered outside the ring. I don't know that this is how Kevin Owens wants to win, but I guess he'll take it. No, he throws Bret Hart back into the ring. Hart on his feet, and a float over DDT from the champion. Kevin Owens is making a statement to the legend. Bret Hart rolls out of it. Bulldog. Bret Hart's winded. But he's calling for it. He's setting Hitman up. He's going for the sharpshooter. He wants to tap out Kevin Owens again. Kevin Owens able to flip out of it. Another counter by the Hitman. Clothesline knocks the champion down. Now Kevin Owens with the counter. Owen sets up the pin, goes for the cover. One, two. Bret Hart able to kick out at two. And now Kevin Owens is looking for the pop-up power bomb. Bret Hart counters. Again, Kevin Owens has been in control but still has more to do if he wants to put away Bret Hart. Kevin Owens going up the top rope, gets the knees up. Bret Hart slowly getting to his feet. Going for the sharpshooter but Kevin Owens counters out of it. Bret Hart fighting 
comes back with a counter of his own. Wants the pile driver, but Kevin Owens with a counter. Setting it up, and he's going to hit it. Pile driver. Hart pulls him away from the ropes. Sets it up. He's putting it in. Bret Hart's got the sharpshooter locked in. No, Kevin Owens able to roll out of it. Looking to do here. Power bomb into the apron. Bret Hart's laid out after that power bomb, putting his back right into the apron. Owens continues with the knee right into Bret Hart's back. How does Bret Hart have anything left after that? of the million dollar champion on full display. Well, Bret Hart firing back. Kevin Owens wanted to redeem himself after submitting to the sharpshooter. And he did just that tonight. He withstood everything the hitman had to throw his way. Here is your winner. And he puts the hitman down with a one, two, three. I can't believe what I just saw here tonight. The great Bret Hart, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be, losing to Kevin Owens. And here comes Ronda Rousey, retaining her WWE Raw Women's Championship on the SummerSlam kickoff show. After getting herself disqualified against Sasha Banks.
we're still not sure what her motivations were against Sasha Banks. An out of character display. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California, the Raw Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Tonight she goes one on one with Bailey, Sasha Banks. Good friend here on Monday Night Raw. Bailey looking to get a measure of retribution against the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Quite frankly, it was a, a pathetic display from Ronda Rousey last this weekend at SummerSlam. She failed to put Sasha Banks away the, the right way, so resorted to getting herself disqualified. And her opponent, from San Jose, California, Bailey. And just like over the weekend, Ronda Rousey not wanting to wait. Bailey firing back with some offense of her own. Ronda Rousey going right under that ring. And she takes the chair to Bailey's face, laying waste just like she did at SummerSlam. And maybe now the champion will explain her actions over the last few nights. What do you have to say for yourself, Wanda? Ronda Rousey calling out the entire women's division using her history as UFC to say she's above the ranks of the Monday Night Raw WWE women's division. And we've got an Attitude Era all-time classic match for you next. Triple threat match. The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Triple H all in the ring at the same time. That match is coming up next.
And here comes The Rock, the people's champion, victorious last night Making at SummerSlam over Triple H. From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock. The Rock victorious over Triple H last night at SummerSlam in front of the San Diego crowd. After the match, Triple H tried to attack The Rock from behind, but The Rock was able to avoid it and send Triple H outside the ring and stand tall over, over the cerebral assassin. But tonight, he'll be back in action against Triple H with Stone Cold Steve Austin in the mix. Of course, Stone Cold Steve Austin has been thrown in the middle of these two men the past few weeks. So all three of them get to duke it out in a triple threat match on Raw. And you know what that means. That iconic glass shattering can only mean one thing. It's and Steve Austin. First, from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin has been the man in the middle between Triple H and The Rock these last few weeks. But Austin does not want to be the man in the middle anymore. He wants to whoop both of these performers' asses. Triple H was not happy at all about his loss to The Rock last night at SummerSlam. Of course, as we mentioned earlier, he tried to attack The Rock from behind after the match. It was unsuccessful. Triple H let his frustrations get the better of him. And it was The Rock who stood tall last night at SummerSlam. But Triple H looking to get a little bit of retribution here tonight. He'll have that opportunity with The Rock and Stone Cold in the ring at the same time with him. Of course, this was a match that almost happened 20 years ago at Survivor Series 1999 before Stone Cold Steve Austin was run over and replaced in that match by the Big Show. Of course, it was later revealed that it was Rikishi who ran over Austin, but we never got that triple threat match between these three men. 
So 20 years later on Monday Night Raw, we will get that match. fans we're off this match is underway with the rock going right after steve austin triple h now going right after the rock the action spilling outside the ring as the rock suplexes triple h now austin going right back after the rock Austin sending Triple H's head right into that ring apron. And The Rock with a float over DDT on Austin. Triple H fighting back on The Rock. And The Rock with a DDT of his own on the Cerebral Assassin. Another DDT to Austin. The Rock is laying waste to everybody at ringside. It is a triple threat match, so there are no count outs. There are no disqualifications. This match must end in the ring, but these men can fight at ringside for as long as they want. Triple H goes right into those steel steps, and Rock goes at Austin with a back suplex. And Triple H finally bringing that action back into the ring. Sending The Rock back into the ring. Rock's eyeing Austin. Austin counters the spine buster. with his trademark stomps. Classic Austin going for the cover on The Rock. Rock able to kick out. Stunner to the game. Austin goes for the cover. One, two. No, Triple H gets the shoulder up. This match is going to continue here on Raw. And now Rock with that sledgehammer back to Triple H. And now The Rock goes for a pin. Triple H surely has got to be down after that. Two count. Nope, he still kicks out. The tenacity of Triple H taking a stunner, taking the sledgehammer shots. Still has something left in him. 
Rock with the roll up on Austin. One. Nope. Austin kicks out. Austin with the cover on the rock. Rock able to kick out. Rock sets up for the rock bottom. He hits it on Triple H. Was that going to be enough to do it? The stunner, the sledgehammer, the rock bottom. The rock goes for the cover. Austin's outside the ring. One, two, three. No! Triple H just gets the shoulder up. Oh, my God. I can't believe he's able to get the shoulder up. A frustrated rock taking the sledgehammer to Triple H. And Triple H counters. And now The Rock is heating up. And the knee to Rock's face. Triple H going for the cover now. Rock with a quick kick out. Austin jumping into action against Triple H. Triple H setting up the pedigree. He hits it on Austin. Is that going to do it? No, The Rock's able to break the pin. And now The Rock is eyeing Austin. He wants the rock bottom. He hits it on Austin. A second rock bottom. The first one to Triple H. This one to Steve Austin. Is that going to do it? The rock goes for the cover on Austin. One. Two. No, the rattlesnake kicks out. Austin going for the stunner. The Rock counters. Roll over DDT as Triple H gets himself back into the ring. DDT on The Rock. Triple H going for the cover. One. No, The Rock able to kick out. Rock outside the ring. It's Austin and Triple H. Spine Buster. Austin starting to feel it. Triple H pushing Austin away. Going for the cover. One. Two. And Austin kicks out. Spine Buster to the People's Champion. And The Rock kicks out. None of these men able to get a clear upper hand over the others. And The Rock looks to set Triple H up. And he hits the Spine Buster.
and he's going for it. He's going for the most electrifying move in sports entertainment. He throws the elbow bat off one rope, off the other. Here it comes, people's elbow. The Rock goes for the pin on Triple H. The referee makes the count, one, two, three, and The Rock is victorious over Triple H and Austin. A classic matchup. None of them in, able to get a clear advantage over the other. But with Austin Sin outside the ring, The Rock is able to finish the game off with a people's elbow. The Rock with victories over Triple H two nights in a row. First at SummerSlam, and now here, here on Here is Raw. your winner. What's this? What's going on? Who's that man? Sting was coming out of his locker room to go to his matchup in the six-man tag match. And whoever this masked man is, is ambushing him backstage. Oh my god, I can't believe what we're seeing. I have no idea who this man is. And the mystery man going low on Steam. And here comes Mr. McMahon, the CEO of WWE and the general manager of Monday Night Raw. And good, Mr. McMahon out here to address the actions that we just saw backstage as a masked man, a masked assailant, attacked Sting as he was getting ready to come out for his main event match tonight. Mr. McMahon letting us know that there is a mystery opponent that will join the NWO in the rematch from SummerSlam.
And here comes the shield. Victorious last night at SummerSlam over the NWO and Sting. Of course, they're in a rematch tonight with the NWO and a mystery opponent after Sting was ambushed backstage on his way to the matchup. We have no idea who that assailant was, but he was wearing some very shield seeming attire. So we don't know if the shield was involved in that attack or not. But what we do know is that it is Dean Ambrose, Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins, and new Universal Champion Roman Reigns, The Shield. A dominant night at SummerSlam as The Shield defeated NWO and Sting in that six-man tag team match with Roman Reigns pinning Scott Hall. And then Roman Reigns cashing in on Finn Balor, who had won the Universal Championship from John Cena. There's nobody in on Monday nights that are more dominant than the Shield. And they look to continue that tonight in a rematch against the NWO. And here comes the NWO. They crashed the Shield party earlier tonight when Roman Reigns came out to celebrate his victory at, at SummerSlam. 608 pounds, Kevin Nash and your call, the NWO. It, it was Nash and Hall who came out and laid waste to Rollins and Roman Reigns in the ring earlier this evening to kick off Raw. It was then that the match was made for tonight's main event, the rematch from SummerSlam, which won't be a, a full rematch with the Sting's condition unknown at this point. We know that he was taken from the arena to a hospital, a local hospital, but we don't know what kind of condition he is. Hopefully we'll find out more. Hopefully everything would be okay with Sting. We still want to know who that masked man was and was he affiliated with the Shield? And who's going to be the NWO's mystery opponent? Oh my god, here we go. Of course it is. It's Finn Balor. This is perfect. Finn Balor defeated John Cena last night at SummerSlam to win and the Universal partner, Championship. From Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! The referee hadn't even had a chance to hand Finn Balor his new Universal Championship before Roman Reigns came out to cash in money in the bank. Even the demon wasn't enough to withstand John Cena and Roman Reigns both back to back in one night. Roman Reigns finished off the demon with a Superman punch and a spear to become your new WWE Universal Champion. Of course, it is so perfect that Finn Balor wants to join the NWO tonight to try to get a little piece of revenge on Roman Reigns and the rest of the Shield. I think everybody's behind you tonight, Finn. Everybody's behind you and the NWO. After what Roman Reigns had to say earlier tonight, his despicable words towards Kurt Angle, towards Scott Hall, towards Finn Balor. 
it's time for Roman Reigns to catch a little piece of what he's been putting out into the WWE Universe. It's time for it all to come back around. And tonight might not get Finn's title back, but you know it's going to be feel damn good when he gets into that ring with Roman Reigns. But first, it's going to be Kevin Nash starting off the fight against Roman Reigns. And he's going to work on the Universal Champion. The NWO has frustrations of their own to take out on Roman Reigns and the Shield. And they're doing just that. tags himself in but Kevin Nash lays him down with a clothesline Kevin Nash out of the way Seth Rollins out of the way sends him into the ropes and tagging in his partner Scott Hall took the pin last night in that six-man tag match. Roman Reigns was the one who picked up the pinball victory. Scott Hall would like to have a little bit of redemption himself here tonight. Rollins gets it, makes it to the corner, tags in Ambrose. But Ambrose immediately whipped into the corner. Kevin Nash getting tagged back in. Tosses Teen Ambrose like a doll. And here comes Finn Balor, the former Universal Champion. The two-time Universal Champion. Kicks back. Sends Balor into the corner. He's in trouble. Tags in Seth Rollins. Off the rope with the kick to the face. Sends Seth Rollins right into those ring steps. And again. Seth Rollins sends the former champion back into the ring. Balor with the tag to Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash focusing on the head of Seth Rollins.
And Nash Sin into the corner. He's in a bad spot. Seth Rollins with the tag on Ambrose. And the double team sends Nash down. And another strong showing from the Shield, continuing what they came with last night at SummerSlam. And they're setting it up. They're going for it. The triple power bomb on Kevin Nash. Ben Balor able to break up the count. But the damage has been done to Kevin Nash. Going up top. Finn Balor gets the knees up. impact move from Finn Balor to Seth Rollins at ringside. Four. And Finn Balor's looking for it. He's going to miss the coup de grace to the outside. Seth Rollins rolls out of the way. High risk from Finn Balor that didn't pay off. Seth Rollins gets Balor back into the ring. Oh my 
my God, are they calling for another one? They are. Finn Balor's going for the ride. And the Shield picks up another victory. Two nights in a row. After SummerSlam, after Raw, the Shield continues their dominance over the NWO. Thank you for tuning in tonight on Monday Night Raw. As soon as we have any information about Sting or the Masked Assailant, we'll let you know. Until next time, I have been your host for WWE 2K19, and this has been Monday Night Raw.